48 seconds, 45 seconds. Uh, you can see the timer up there. We will be starting the English lesson in about 38 seconds. An English lesson today about action movies should be fun. I love action movies. I think I've watched every action movie that you can think of in the last 20 or 30 years. Um uh and they're they're just fun. They're exciting. They're uh invigorating. They're thrilling. Uh I I shouldn't be teaching the lesson during the intro, but anyways, we'll start in about 15 seconds once I make sure everything is working. Um I don't have a lot else to say. I'm just gonna get ready to click the button to start. Here we go. Three, two, one. Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson about action movies. There are a number of different kinds of movies. There are different genres and one of them uh, is action movies. Action movies usually have a person who needs to do something that normal people don't do. Maybe they need to catch a bad person. Maybe they need to go and spy uh, at a party, a fancy party. Maybe they need to steal something but in a good way. Like usually in an action movie, the lead character is a good person. Uh but today, we're going to do a lesson on all of the words and phrases you'll hear if you watch an action movie. Sometimes, it might be a little confusing. Sometimes, you might not understand what they're talking about. And as an English learner, I'll help you learn about 25 or so words uh that you just need to know if you're going to watch an action movie. So, once again, welcome to this English lesson about action movies. Hey, before we get started, I just want to say hello to all of the people who are here. It's good to see all of you. Um it's good to see Ralph and Freddie Wolf and Key Park, Daniel, Kevin Hawthorne, uh user, anonymous person, Luana, Lolly Lolly, Sarah, Abu John, Freddie Wolf again, Mohammed. Um let's see here. I need my glasses again. I should probably get a nicer pair of glasses that I could wear all the time. Hi to Mode. <laughs> Mode Egg says, hey, hey, we're live and in action for sure. Uh Redfish and Crawfish is here. Dream World. Uh Unsel, of course. Key Park Kakachen. Good to see all of you. I know Wanda's here as well. Earlier, I was saying hi to Unsel and a few other people. Arena, of course, is here as well. Abriendo Fritz from Germany. Uh just fun. You can tell. Can you tell when I have a day off? <laughs> do I am I in a better mood when I do a live stream when I have a day off? I should work on that a little bit. Um but yes, I have a day off. In fact, I have a week off. So, that is exciting for me. I'm looking forward to it. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about action movies. Uh so, we should get the lesson started in a bit. A few reminders. Please use the chat to have good English conversations with fellow viewers. Um I will pause and answer questions from the form. Nightbot has already linked the form in the chat. Please use the form to ask questions. Uh and of course, um if you do feel the need to ask a question in the chat, it it most likely won't get answered by me but sometimes viewers, long-time viewers will answer your question in the chat but usually the chat gets a little too crazy for me to do that. So, a lot of people saying hello from Somalia, from Australia, from Algeria. Good to see you from Russia. Who else we got here? From China. We got people from all over the world. From Perth, Australia which I think Perth is on the western part of Australia. It's one of the biggest western cities I think. So, anyways, hello to everyone. Uh we're here to learn English. Let's uh let's get started. Should we do that? Oh, I should do a test first, right? I should make sure I should make sure things are working. Let's see here. Well, a few little errors, a few little glitches but I think things are working good now. Let's go. 227 people watching. I should start. Oh, 232. I should start teaching English. So, a car chase. So, a car chase. Let me, should I back up and actually explain what an action movie is? An action movie is a movie that's not about romance. It's not about the future. It's not about a historical event. An action movie is usually about someone who maybe they're a police officer, a former police officer, a spy, someone who works for a secret organization, uh someone who does things that normal people don't do. I don't regularly get phone calls saying, Bob, could you fly to Paris and could you go to this high end fancy party and spy on the Duke of Austinborough? 
it's not a real thing by the way. Uh, normally people phone me and say, hey, uh, Bob, can you come and help me move a couch? <laughs> that's the that's the extent of my life but an action movie usually has a lot of exciting things happen in it and I'll explain some of them. One is a car chase. Often when you're watching an action movie, it might start with a car chase or there might be a car chase in the middle of it. At some point, the person in the movie who you are cheering for or rooting for, the hero in the movie might be chased by someone or might chase someone in a car. During the car chase, the cars might get smashed up a little bit. Um there's a movie called Baby Driver where at the beginning, they rob a bank and then there's a huge car chase. That is one of my favorite car chases ever in a movie. If you've ever had a chance, uh, if you ever have a chance to watch that movie, Um, watch the car chase at the beginning. Great music and very, very exciting car chase. So, a car chase is when someone is in one car and they're trying to get away from someone in a different car and that second car is chasing them. Very dangerous. Um you would never do this in real life. It would be a very bad thing to do but action movies often will have a car chase. Uh so, a pursuit is a car chase but it involves law enforcement. It involves the police. So, in this uh clip or in this picture, you can see there are three cop cars. That's the informal way we talk about police cars. We say cop cars chasing this person. So, this is a pursuit. Um we use a little you could call it a car chase as well but when you say that the police are in pursuit or there was a pursuit on the highway, it means usually that police are doing that. This is common in almost every single action movie. There's usually a pursuit uh, where the police are chasing someone at some point in time. A shootout. So, another very common thing in an action movie. A shootout is when um obviously, there are guns involved and obviously, people are shooting at each other. They might be in an old warehouse. They might have just had a car chase and one of the cars broke down. So, someone jumped out and started running and the other person might chase them and they might actually start shooting at each other. So, a shootout is another very common thing to see in an action movie. In fact, most action movies will have guns in some way. There will be guns in action movies almost all the time. Um it's kind of part of the genre. Car chases, shootouts uh and those kinds of things. And then of course, there will most likely be a fight scene. At some point in the movie, um the the hero is going to probably fight somebody um and that fight is usually pretty exciting. It's different than fights you've probably seen in real life. Um usually, it's well choreographed and there's usually a lot of martial arts. So, things like jujitsu or karate, um all of these martial arts moves, they will block a punch and they will Uh, punch really effectively or uh, I'm not a martial artist by the way. I did take karate for about six months though when I was in university. So, I do know how to block a little bit. Um probably doing it wrong. (laughs) I like the defensive moves better than the offensive moves but there will definitely be a fight scene at some point in most action movies. Um now, Science fiction movies can also be action movies. So, a movie like The Matrix has some pretty amazing fight scenes in it when two people will fight uh each other and uh use a lot of really fancy fight moves that probably most of us don't know. There will definitely be explosions. Um explosions. There will be cars that blow up. There might be a building that blows up. So, in English, an explosion is when Somebody uses dynamite or some other thing to uh blow something up. There might be a bomb in a building and you will have an explosion. Um so, definitely, I would say almost every action movie I can think of, there's an explosion at some point in time. Um either someone will blow up a car or blow up a building. So, there's a high chance this video will get demonetized by the way because of the topic. So, we'll have to see how that goes. An ambush. So, an ambush is an interesting thing. An ambush is when a person or several people or an animal hides and waits for someone. So, an ambush is when let's say there's a road 
and people are hiding in the trees along the side of the road waiting for someone to walk by or drive by so they can attack them. This jaguar, I think it's a jaguar, is waiting. It's going to ambush someone. So, it's um I'm trying to think of the French word. Is it ambuscade? En ambuscade? Something like that. One of our French viewers can tell us. But when you hide in order to jump out and attack someone, we say that you are going to ambush them. Um certainly would be a scary thing uh to uh to experience. And then there's something called a standoff. So, a standoff is when all parties involved, everyone involved stops fighting because they're all at an equal disadvantage. That's probably not a great way to describe it but this picture shows it well. Everyone is pointing their gun at this another person. So, they can't fight anymore. They can't continue the shootout. They're at a standoff. So, standoffs often happen when two sides are trying to fight but neither side can make any progress. We would call that a standoff. So, it's usually a point in an action movie where there's some funny dialogue or they insult each other because they can no longer fight. So, they can only use words. Hey, let's do some questions. Freddie Wolf says, yes, in Ambuscade, Bob. Yeah, I think I heard that in the um oh, what's the song? Um there's a song that has that in in French. I can't think of it right now. Toujours debout by uh I can't think of his name. Older guy. Anyways, let's do some questions people. Let's not get off track. Um first question from Ruslan. Hello, dear teacher Bob. How are you, sir? What is your favorite action movie you watched lately? So, I watched I'm actually watching a TV series right now called The Gentleman and it's a Guy Ritchie TV series. I just watched the first episode last night. As most of you know, I like British television um and it is an action movie. It's about um a guy who's in the army and he gets called home because his father is about to pass away and he and he, I won't give you any spoilers. He's very wealthy but he also finds out that his family is involved in some crime. So, so far I would say that's the one I'm enjoying lately. Um let's see here. Hung says, I watched a film named Cloverfield. It's a film presented as footage from a personal camcorder. Have you seen a movie show from a personal camcorder? Do you like them? They're a little too shaky for me. I was gonna try and shake my camera. Um I don't know if it's because um it doesn't give me make me feel sick or anything but when a camera is really shaky, I don't really like it. You'll notice in my own videos, I I try to make videos where the camera doesn't shake much. So, I probably wouldn't uh like that. Uh Hafia says, the gentleman is a very new show. Yeah and I think it was uh there was a movie as well uh that about that I think. Uh let's see. Um Olivia says, an amb- anim- ambush animal hiding in the tree in order to jump out and attack someone. Yes, that's definitely what an ambush is. An animal or people, either one. Uh let's see here. Teacher Bob will have an invitation from Quentin Tarantino after that karate block. Yeah, possibly. We'll see. Um from Renata. Good morning, Bob. Have you how have you been? Good. I'm not really a fan of action movies. What about you? What's your favorite action movie? Thank you, sir. Have a great day. So, I like all of the Born movies. So, the Born Identity, the Born Ultimatum, um all of those movies. The first three, I think, have Matt Damon. The last one has Jeremy Renner or I might be getting it confused. Uh, I really liked him. So, it's like a spy movie, thriller movie, spy thriller. Um that definitely, that series of movies. I will watch that uh, every once in a while. Um like every 10 years, I'll rewatch movies. So, I might rewatch. I did rewatch them again during the pandemic but yes, I definitely like the Bourne movies. Um Sa- Sadie says, please describe how an action hero banged all the miscreants alone. So, how does an action hero have a fight and and beat a whole bunch of people? Usually because they've had a lot of training. They've been trained in the martial arts. So, they've been trained how to use um different techniques. Uh judo moves to wrestle uh karate or jujitsu in order to attack. 
uh, someone or defend themselves. Usually, they've had some extensive training and that training uh helps them to just be really really good at it. Really good at fighting. I do not have that training. Um let's see. Um so, Viet says, I watched a film which has shown that the hero army tried to destroy terrorists who are our national army. Does Canada have any laws that prohibit historical inaccurate films? Yes, we do. I don't know how I don't know all the details but there are certainly laws that require that the film does not misrepresent a historical period um in a way that promotes hate. So, we have hate laws in Canada. So, I don't know about older movies but you do make a good point. There are movies that sometimes um especially older movies might misrepresent a certain era. Uh let's see here from Nam. Have you seen the movie Quiet on the Western Front or All Quiet on the Western Front? In the movie, soldiers are shown as sandbags fighting for the needs of rich generals. What can we learn from anti-war movies? Well, we can learn a lot um and I don't wanna get into all the details about wars but certainly anti-war movies are made sometimes so that we think about um war and how to avoid it. I think the best thing to do with war is to avoid war. That is a that would be my vote on that subject. Uh hey, let me just read the chat a little bit. Ronnie says, okay, Bob, I hope you're doing well. I was gonna check. I am getting a lot of errors this morning. So, nothing bad but it might be a little choppy today as we do the live stream. Um let's see. Hafia says, the fame most famous found footage film is The Blair Witch Project. So, more of a horror movie I think. Um let's see. Hafia says correct. First three is by Matt Damon, Born Trilogy and last one, Jeremy Renner. Yes, thanks Hafia for confirming that. Um hey, should we get back to the lesson? Um trying to figure out which button I'm supposed to click. I'll have a little sip of water for a minute. Uh good morning, Eugene. How are you? I see you saying good morning down there. Automation secure home. Good to see you. Okay, here we go. That's the wrong button. That's the right button. A heist. So, a heist movie is a movie where a group of people, maybe one person but usually a group of people plans to rob a bank or plans to rob a museum or they plan to steal a famous piece of art from a wealthy person's apartment or house. A heist movie generally starts with you seeing the people planning the heist. They're talking about how they're going to rob the bank or the museum and then usually uh about halfway through you actually see them rob it. Uh so Ocean's Eleven would be a good movie about that. They plan to rob a casino uh and Ocean's Twelve, Ocean's Thirteen. There's a few movies in that series. Um so they plan a heist. So a heist then is a planned robbery usually by a group of people of a bank or a casino or um I think there's a heist movie where they rob a racetrack as well. I can't think of the name but um that is uh what a heist movie is. And then there's a movie that might involve a rescue. So, a rescue is when someone is somewhere. Maybe they've been kidnapped. Maybe they're uh stuck at the top of a mountain because their plane crashed. Um maybe they're let's see maybe they've went they've gone to a country uh and they've been captured uh and need to be rescued. So, a rescue movie usually involves someone or a couple of people or more going somewhere to help people escape from some kind of situation. So, there is uh heist movies and there are rescue movies and then of course, there's words like to infiltrate. So, this can mean two things. So, you can use a computer to infiltrate someone's computer system but you can also as a person go and infiltrate a group. So, if there was a group of bad guys and if I was a police officer, I might put on my normal clothes and try to infiltrate the group. I try to become one of the group if I'm undercover. So, when you infiltrate something, it means you go into it undetected. You try to be part of a group or get into a computer system uh in a way that no one uh 
sees you or recognizes that you might be someone else. To double cross. So, it took me a long time to find a picture to represent double cross. When you double cross someone, they think you're working for them but you're actually working for someone else. So, you can see in this picture on he's shaking the hand of the person as if he's that person's friend but he has something ominous behind his back. So, oftentimes in action movies, someone will double cross the people who trust them. So, maybe a group is planning uh to rob the bank and one person double crosses them and goes and tells the police what they're going to do. So, in English, when you double cross someone, it means they trust you uh but they probably shouldn't trust you. Undercover. So, I briefly mentioned this. When a police officer goes undercover, instead of wearing their uniform, they wear their normal clothes. Instead of looking all clean shaven, they might grow a beard, wear their normal clothes and then try to become part of a criminal organization in order to investigate them. So, they'll go undercover to try and infiltrate the uh criminal organization. So, this is a common um plot in an action movie. The hero might go undercover in order to try and figure out what a group of people is going to do. So, of course, if it's a police officer, they would not wear their uniform. They would actually do everything they can uh to make it so they don't look like a police officer. And they might wear a disguise. So, in the Mission Impossible movies, there are often scenes where someone who may already be dead is suddenly alive again but then you realize it's actually Ethan Hunt wearing a disguise. When you wear a disguise, you put on a mask or you use makeup to make yourself look like a different person or at least not look like yourself. So, there's two kinds of disguises. I might put on a disguise and try to look like my boss or I might wear a disguise simply so people don't know it's Bob, okay? So, two kinds of disguises but a disguise would be something you put on to look like someone else. Now, a little point here. At Halloween, kids will wear costumes but in a movie when someone like Ethan Hunt in the Mission Impossible movies does this, we say he's putting on a disguise. We wouldn't say he's putting on a costume. So, a costume is more something you wear at Halloween or to a costume party Um, but in a movie, we would say, oh, he was in disguise or he wore a disguise. Now, we also have secret identities. Sometimes in a movie, um an action movie, the person might have a secret identity. So, for instance, uh in a superhero movie which is kind of an action movie. Uh someone like Superman, his secret identity is Clark Kent. So, you can see here's Clark Kent but underneath he has his Superman outfit. Uh Batman's secret identity is Bruce Wayne. Um a lot of times people will have a secret identity in an action movie. And then of course, in an action movie, there is often a hero not necessarily a superhero. A superhero has superpowers but a hero can just be a normal person who you are cheering for, who you are rooting for. You know, the main character in an action movie is often someone we like and we want them to succeed. Strangely enough, even in a heist movie where people are robbing a casino, we sometimes cheer for them even though they're doing something bad. So, in Ocean's Eleven, you could think maybe George Clooney's character is the hero or Brad Pitt's character is the hero and you cheer for them. Um but certainly if you watch something like The Bourne Identity, you cheer for the main character, the hero. When there is a fight scene, when there is a car chase, you want the hero to survive and win. Um so, the hero is usually the main character. Not always but quite often the main character in the movie. And then of course, we have a villain. So, a villain. Sorry, I'm not sure if this is an actual villain. It was the only picture I could find that looked a little bit sinister. Someone who didn't look like this person. Um so, a a villain is of course, the bad guy 
or the bad woman. There's, I mean, equal, uh, equal, uh, equal rights in the villain world, um, definitely. So, it's the person in the movie who's trying to do something bad or if it's a good versus evil movie, it's the person on the side of evil. So, not all movies are good versus evil. Sometimes, it's hard to figure out but usually, the hero is on the side of good and the villain is on the side of evil. The hero tries to do good things and save people. The villain does bad things and tries to harm people. So, kind of the opposite characters in a movie. And then sometimes in a movie, there will be the hero but the hero will have a sidekick. The best example of this is Batman and Robin but even in other movies like Mission Impossible, um the main character has sometimes multiple sidekicks. People that help the main character do achieve their goal. So, often in a superhero movie, there will be a sidekick. Sometimes in an action movie, there will be a sidekick as well. Not the main character but someone who works with the main character. Someone who works with the hero to help them do what they need to do. And there's also something called an underdog. So, an underdog is someone in a movie who you want to be, you want the underdog to be successful but it's unlikely they will be. We love stories about underdogs. Underdogs are people who at the beginning of the movie, you don't think they'll be able to do what they have to do and they end up doing it. So, in the Rocky movies, we have Rocky Balboa. In the very first movie, it's unlikely that he will win the final boxing match. So, he trains to be a boxer. He does a lot of running. He does a lot of training uh to to do a really to participate in a really big match. Uh spoiler alert, he doesn't win in the first movie. So, in the second movie, he does though. These are old movies. Hopefully, you've seen them but anyways, in the first Rocky movie, he is very much an underdog. We don't expect him to do as well as he does. He does, I won't give you any more details but an underdog is someone who you don't expect to win. If you've ever watched the Karate Kid movies, also those are movies about underdogs. Someone who doesn't appear strong or able to fight well who actually does well at the end of the movie or relatively well. So, an underdog. Comic relief. So, let me just make this a bit bigger. Silence. Often, they will throw in some comic relief to make the movie a bit lighter. So, when there's a standoff for instance, when the fighting stops, there might be a moment where there are funny lines said by the actors so that you experience several emotions while watching the movie. They want you to love the movie and be thrilled by the movie and excited and maybe a little afraid but they also want you to laugh. So, they will put in some comic relief. So, sometimes they'll say, oh, that actor's in the movie just for comic relief. They'll put a funny person in the movie so that there is some funny, uh, there are some funny parts in the movie. Uh, let's see here. So, I should have put this with villain. We have the word arch enemy. So, an arch enemy is like the most common enemy of a person. Superman's arch enemy is Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. I think I'm saying that right. Um so, often in the Superman movies, you will have storylines where Superman is fighting against Lex Luthor, okay? In the Batman movies, it could be the Penguin or the Riddler. He has a few arch enemies but it's like the main enemy in the movie. The person that the hero is almost always fighting against, okay? So, even in a spy movie, there might be an arch enemy. In the James Bond movies, there's generally one arch enemy in every movie that James Bond 007 is fighting against. Uh so, an arch enemy would be the main enemy of the person in the movie. Hey, let's uh let me check something. That's weird. The amount of errors went down. That usually never happens. So, hopefully everything's working. Oh. That's Did you guys not see the slides that whole sequence? Uh 
Oh, no, you guys could. Okay. My bad. I just don't know what I'm doing <laughs> for a little bit there. Um, let me check something. Okay. Yes. Let me find the next question. From Pavel. Hello, teacher Bob. How much does a movie ticket cost in Canada on average? Um, they're not cheap anymore. Like $18, I think, to go to a movie. So, there's a range depending on the day. I think you can still see a movie for about 10 or 11 dollars but I think that would be rare. I think 13 or 14 dollars is probably fairly normal but if you go to a very nice theater, you could be spending over 15 dollars for a movie ticket. That is the current price um of a movie ticket. Um so, uh pretty high. I like to watch movies at home. Uh, I like to watch movies on Netflix, ex- Netflix, etc. That's my favorite way to watch movies. Okay, uh next question. Um so from Vera, hello Bob. I hope you are doing well. What's the difference between something has happened with me and something has happened to me? Which one is correct? Okay, so if, let me put this in the action movie category. If something happens to the hero, it means someone shot at him or someone stole their car or someone stole their wallet or maybe the uh the hero falls down a hill and gets trapped somewhere. Something happened to the hero. Um when you use with though, it's usually more of an emotional thing. Like something's happening with him. It usually means, oh, he's not doing his job right. Like what's up with you? It usually means, how are you feeling? What are you thinking right now? So, generally two is the most common one to use. From the movies nerd. I love watching animated movies. One of them is the film The Lego Movie 2014. Do you like watching animated themed action movies? Any to recommend? Little fix there. Um I do. I did like all the Lego movies. Um are there two of them? I think there's two of them. Um especially Batman. Batman was comic relief in that movie. Um he's a pretty funny guy um in the Lego movies. Um so I do like those. I, generally though, no. I like live action better. So, the opposite of an animated movie is a live action movie. In fact, there's a live action version of Avatar The Last Airbender out now, a TV show. Um and uh that's something I might uh watch at some point. Hey, I'm gonna go to members only chat. That's what I'm supposed to be doing now. Give me one second to turn that on uh and I will keep answering questions over here but members, you are free to ask questions directly in the chat if you would like. And let me just check one more thing. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um from Frankie. Hi, Bob. Thank you for your teaching. Teach King. Little K there. Little slip of the tongue. I'm the teach king (laughs) now. Sorry. Thank you for your teaching. Where do you watch a movie usually? And does there and is there a huge movie theater near your place? So, if it's a blockbuster, If it's a really cool awesome movie that I really want to see, I will go see it in the theater because sometimes that experience is just better. So, a movie like Maverick, the Top Gun movie last year, Jen and I went to the theater to watch it because people told us it's just better on a big screen and with theater sound and I think they were right. So, sometimes action movies are better to see in the theater. Um and yes, there is one near my house but it's about 45 minutes away. (laughs) So, depends on how uh depends on what you view as far away. So, it's a bit about a 45 minute drive to the nearest theater. Uh from Unsel, hi teacher Bob. Do you like time travel theme topics? Have you watched the movie Predestination? Have a great day. Love from Istanbul. Bye. I have not watched that movie. I will look it up later today. I do have to find something to watch although um I don't when I have time off, I actually don't watch a lot of TV or movies. I generally do more of that at night while during the work year. So, I'll do one more question from the queue and then get to the chat. From Am I Alive? What do you think is the best action movie of all time? Do you have a favorite filmmaker in this regard? I do not have a favorite filmmaker. I do like the original Die Hard movie with Bruce Willis from the late 80s. Um The reason I like that movie is it's one of the first action movies that I saw in the theater. Uh I think I saw it. I can't remember where I saw it but I was either in was I in late high school or first year of university? Somewhere in that era. Um I didn't go 
to see a lot of movies in the theater as a teenager. Maybe three or four. But that was one of the first movies that I saw in the theater where I thought it was good to see it in the theater. I really, really enjoyed it. So, I think it's still in my mind one of the best action movies for sure. From the chat. Hafia says, ha ha, Bob the Teach King. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Uh, Ralph says, there were three Lego movies. 2014, 2017, 2019. I don't know even one of them. Oh, thank you. Kaka Chen says, teach man. <laughs> Freddie Wolf, Bob, have you ever dreamed to participate in a blockbuster as the main character? In affirmative, which one would you like the best? Personally, I think you would have performed in Gladiator. Merci. I don't know but I've always wished I could fight better. Like, I, I don't know why I'm, I, I don't like fighting but I do wish I was trained in some, in a, in multiple martial arts to be able to fight really well. Um, not something I'm planning to do. I'm not gonna become a boxer or anything but um, yes, that's something I've thought about. And um, uh, let's see. Gladiator. Oh, yeah. So, that was uh, Russell Crowe, Gladiator. Uh, he fights in the arena. Yes. I don't know. I'm afraid of lions. So, Wanda Prado. Hi, teacher Bob. Can I use explosion and burst interchangeably? Thanks. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. No. So, a car, there might be an explosion and a car might explode. There might be an explosion and a building might explode. Burst is something we use more to talk about pipes. So, like if you have a pipe with water in it, it might burst. Um if you have, let me see, what else would we use for burst? Yeah, generally burst we use for pipes. Like a balloon can burst as well but an explosion has fire and smoke and there's a loud bang. So, Lolly says, I live K-dramas a lot. How about you, Bob? I love K-dramas. I don't know what K-dramas are. I have to look that up. Um maybe Korean dramas? I'm not sure. Hafiez, do you consider Die Hard as a Christmas movie? Ha ha. Yes, a little bit. Um we actually watched it once at Christmas. My brothers and I and that was a lot of fun. We had a little, this was 20 years ago. We uh we watched Die Hard during the Christmas break to celebrate Christmas. Moda says, why are you up this early on a day off, Mr. Bob? I'd go back to sleep if I were you. Ha ha, thanks for your dedication, Hero Bob. Oddly enough, when I have days off, it's usually easier to get up. I have a lot of, I have a lot of fun things to plan for today. So, I'm excited and um I guess I could have done the live lesson a bit later but I don't wanna change the time because it just gets confusing for everybody. Key Park, I don't like action movies very much but I watched the movie Hercules on Netflix on Netflix yesterday. I don't know if this movie is an action movie. The fight, they fight easily. Oh, they the they fight really bloody. Sorry, reading that wrong. Uh yeah, I would say that. Um there's a wide range of action movies. Some science fiction movies are action movies. Some historical movies can be considered action movies or they'll have the same elements. You know, in a movie about gladiators, there might be a chariot chase scene instead of a car chase. So, a lot of the elements can be the same. Lolly says, yes, Korean dramas. I have not watched any. I will put those on my list of things to try. I did watch a very good Korean show where they go to the moon and I can't remember. Was it Silent something? Silent Sea? That was really good. I enjoyed that. But it was almost science fiction but also a little bit of a horror movie. Like it was kind of scary. Sayla in the queue says, What is a wonderful movie based on a true story and not based on imagination? Shooting and romance as if they were ordinary real life events. I don't know. Usually, action movies are works of fiction. Someone has imagined the story and it's not real. You know, James Bond doesn't exist. Um Tomb Raider, uh Laura Croft, Laura Croft doesn't exist. Uh these are all characters that people have dreamt up uh in order to create movies. Uh, Kaka Chen in the chat says, is Kung Fu Panda considered an action movie? Definitely. I think there's a new one coming out or it just came out. Um I have watched Kung Fu Panda in at school in French class with French subtitles and French audio. So, even though it's not a French movie, sometimes I use movies where students already know the story but we watch it with French language turned on. So, uh Freddie Wolf says, Dune has been released last week in France. Do you like this kind of science fiction movie and are you going to watch? Does Jen like action movies? Thanks a lot. Two great questions. Frank, Frank Herbert wrote Dune years ago. 
Um as a teenager, I read most of the Dune trilogy and all the new ones by his son. I think Kevin Anderson. No, that's his writing partner. Um Frank Herbert. Can't remember his son's name. Um so, I am very familiar with the Dune books and I loved the first Dune movie a couple years ago or a year ago. So, I will definitely be going to watch it and no, Jen and I, this is where we differ. I love action movies. Jen does not like all of the shooting and violence in action movies but I do like watching them for sure. Um from Monsieur Tuna, most of action movies use CGI to make sure again, we'll find out in a moment. Sorry, I'll just pause here until it starts working again. It's not work. Let's see here. It also says, yeah, lots of drop frames. Stream has disconnected, attempting to reconnect, it says. I haven't had problems for a long time, so that's too bad. Okay. So, I'm gonna try and finish the lesson. I hope that it works for you. Uh we might have to wrap this one up early. I'm almost done. So, we'll see if it stays choppy. So, I'm gonna go back to um everyone can chat mode. Sorry about the uh technical problems everyone but uh, I just have a few slides left. So, I'm just gonna try and get the lesson done. So, sorry for not finishing the members only chat. Let's just see um I think it's kind of working but I'm getting some errors. Okay, let's finish the lesson off. Here we go. A spy or secret agent. This is kind of the same thing. A spy is someone who works for one country and goes to other countries to see what they're doing. Okay? So, James Bond is considered a spy or a secret agent. Uh there are other spies or secret agents in the world. I think um If you watch any kind of movie like the Mission Impossible movies or the James Bond movies, you will see lots of these or secret agents. Um yeah. And then in a superhero movie or sorry, in an action movie, there will be lots of stunts. There will be times where they ride motorcycles dangerously or there will be times where they Uh, do things that you would never do in real life. You might jump off a building uh and land in a uh like a garbage dumpster and get out safely. Um you might do things like that for instance. And there will be a lot of special effects. So, special effects are when they use computers to create scenes for the movie. So, special effects happen regularly uh in action movies. When there's a scene where it's too dangerous for the actors to do. They might use special effects or when they want to create something that would be too expensive to do, they might use special effects to do that. So, a good example would be if they have to blow up a building, they might do it on a computer so that they don't do it in real life when it's dangerous. And there's something called a love interest. So, a love interest would be the person the main character likes in a romantic way and there might be times when each person's love interest is the same as the other person. So, in the Twilight movies, Edward's love interest was Bella and Bella's love interest was Edward. I hope that's their names. (laughs) I I didn't actually watch those movies. I watched the first one but uh definitely in a movie, there might be a love interest and there might be a training montage. So, in the Rocky movies, they speed up time by showing clips of him doing a whole bunch of different training. In the Karate Kid movie, they show you a sequence where he trains one way and then another way and another way and many days and weeks pass and they show you little clips of the training 
that is happening on those days. And then to narrowly escape. When you narrowly escape, it means you're in a dangerous situation uh and you just manage to get away. You just manage to uh to escape without being hurt or being killed or having something bad happen to you. Well, hey, sorry for the crappy internet connection. I know some of you have stuck around but we've certainly had more than enough errors today. So, sorry about that. Um do remember though that I am recording this. So, please do come back in a couple days and watch the last part of the lesson if not the whole lesson. Um so, um let me just type in the chat. Um sorry for the bad connection. Be sure to watch the recorded um live stream tomorrow as well. Uh, hopefully, the internet cooperates. I think I spelled internet wrong there by the way. So, we'll see. I think it's working now but uh I see some people in the chat. Freddie Wolf says, did someone step on the cables? Yeah. Um and Lolly says, I don't think it's your oh, Mode says to Lolly, I don't think it's your connection. Yeah, it's not your connection. It's definitely me. I'm getting a lot of dropped frames on my end. Um but anyways, yes, live stream tomorrow. Uh please do come for that. Uh at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, there will be a live lesson. I will be inside. I won't be outside. But uh hopefully, uh we have a better internet connection and things work well and I will see you then. I I am gonna I think things are working. I am going to I'm gonna do some finish up the questions from the queue for a sec and then we'll call it a day. I only have three left so. From Ario, ah, I'm late. 26 minutes due to watching your short video. <laughs> Question. Did you know that anime series and movies are popular in the West? Please tell me. I'm curious. Yeah, anime is popular with kids and with some adults. I know the anime series with the really giant, I don't know what it's called. Can't remember. Is very popular with uh, uh adults as well. Um from RM. I'm not a fan of action movies. The best action in my opinion can be found in slapstick movies and Blues Brothers. So, yeah, there are action comedies as well or buddy movies where there's two main characters and they're quite funny. Um they tell a lot of jokes and make a lot of witty comments. So, uh definitely those are cool movies to watch as well. Um from Fabian. Hi, dear teacher Bob. Thank you for this incredible lesson. I have a question for you. Tomorrow is a Q and A session. Yes. Greetings from Columbia. Yep. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully, the internet works and we will have a Q and A lesson for about an hour. Uh I hope to see you there. That would be really, really nice. Uh let me see here. That is it. We're done. I I actually think it seems to be working better now. I wonder. Yeah. So, hopefully, we don't have the same problem tomorrow. If we do, we'll work our way through it. I'll test everything and reset my internet to uh to make sure. The funny thing is I did a test this morning and everything was working really well. So, I'm surprised maybe there was some turbulence on the internet. You know, in an airplane when there's turbulence, I feel like we had some internet turbulence while we were doing this. So, anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Sorry to end this about 10 minutes early but uh I think that uh I'll go investigate what was happening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch the shorter version in a couple days and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.